Hello everyone, this is Kesh. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you my small perfume collection. Um, most of the fragrances in my collection, they are sweet and floral scents. So um, it won't be very long because I only have a few. So I'll share with you what I have and what I wear them for. So the first few fragrances that I'm going to show you are the ones that I actually wear to work like on a daily basis. So the first one is this fragrance right here. Then this is Black Pearl by Elizabeth Taylor. So the top looks like this. It has a little black pearl there. Um, it has a honey, sweet, baby powdery mixture of scents. Um, it's a, most of these fragrances are EDPs or the perfume, so they tend to last throughout the day. I normally wear this when I'm going to work, but I don't normally wear it every single day. But I like the scent of it, and as I said before, it lasts for a good while. So, yeah, this is Black Pearl by Elizabeth Taylor. My next work fragrance is this one. And this is Pretty, and I love the cup. Pretty by Elizabeth Arden. Pretty now, it's a very floral scent, as the flowers at the top um, signifies. It reminds me of like a pink or a white rose, and it is very light, very light, very fresh, but at the same time, it lasts all day. So this is my second work fragrance. This is Pretty by Elizabeth Arden. And this is my fourth time purchasing this. So this is one of those that's always in my collection. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce. So this is just a 50 ml. But I finished the, the 100 ml the other day and I saw this online on a sale. So I ended up getting this from fragrance.net. My next work fragrance is none other than Vicky Teal. So somebody had put me onto Vicky Teal some time ago. And because Vicky Teal is lavender, fresh, I don't even know. It just smells so light and so nice. But what I love most about Vicky Teal is that Vicky Teal lasts all day. When I say all day, I mean this fragrance even goes longer than some of my designer fragrances that cost way more than this and this is very affordable so you know i can wear it every day but i find that it's not as easy for me to find this online as most of the others i find it out here in stores and so on so that's good enough for me so this is all that's left in there because i wear this every single day love the scent of it um the good thing about this is that as I said before, last all day and I work in an environment where I'm going to be sweating because there's no AC or anything like that where I work. So it can be very hot and this scent still projects throughout the day and it's not so strong that it is offensive. So most persons can tolerate the scent of it. So that's Vicky Teal Serene. Next on my list is a fragrance that is quite popular um i'd wear this at night though this was a gift from a friend this is ellen tracy by ellen tracy so ellen tracy is a little bit of a musky leathery but still feminine scent if i'm going out for an evening this is what i would wear it has an elegant mature scent but not so mature that it's strong you know but it's very light and leathery but mature that's what i would consider this scent to be so that's ellen tracy's ellen tracy this is also a 50 ml bottle the next fragrance on my list is Kenneth Cole white for her um I bought this scent blindly I didn't know what it smelled like I just saw it and it was on a sale 
So I said, okay, let me try that because I normally like chemical female fragrances. I don't love all your male, male fragrances, but your female fragrances are usually good. This reminds me of a white musk, but it's still very fresh um, with probably a hint of uh, something floral. I'm not sure if it's lavender or it's some kind of flowers, but it's um, very light very airy very daytime but still can be worn in the evening so that's kenneth cole white for her i love this, I love this. next on my list is my go-to evening time going out um fragrance and that is burberry touch and this is a no sorry this is burberry london and this is a limited edition i have to put on some of this right now mm. so burberry london no to me this is a unisex fragrance so both males and females can wear this and feel comfortable in it because it's not as floral or it's not as light as most of my other fragrances and that is why i probably would only wear this in the night time but i love it it's my go-to evening time dinner um fragrance or something elegant the next one on my list is let me go with this one it's not my favorite but i am it has grown on me um this is it's quite leathery um this is paco rabanne's excess and it is extreme girl excess um paco rabanne normally makes really great fragrances this fragrance has been discontinued so you probably will not find it online so easily and if you do find it online it's gonna be like 75 dollars or so on um i bought it in a store a perfume store here because what had happened is that the box was damaged so it was on sale and you know me I love sales so I ended up I ended up purchasing this and I like the scent of it um, this for me would definitely be an evening fragrance if I'm going out to somewhere a little bit more elegant like a gala or Christmas is coming up so yes I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot more during the Christmas time my next fragrance is I don't have the cap for this one but this is Viva La Juicy Gold Viva La Juicy Gold is very sweet if you're from Jamaica I don't know why if you're from Jamaica you know the bubblegum juicy fruit it reminds me of juicy fruit because it's very sweet it smells almost edible that's how sweet it is um I think this is an overrated fragrance reason being it's a little bit pricey but at the same time i don't think it the longevity is as good as vicky teal or some of the others that i may have used in the past um this though it projects very well so when you put it on and you go anywhere you'll be smelling good for like like it will project for probably three hours or so after that basically gone so i think this is overrated but i love the scent of it i just wish that i could have it lasting longer on my skin maybe it's different for you because you know perfume mixes with body chemistry and it works different based on individuals so that's just my personal opinion on the viva la juicy gold and did i mention how pretty the bottle is pretty definitely and in keeping in the same line i have Juicy Couture's Royal Hollywood. I don't know if it's me, but Juicy Couture just seems to make a lot of sweet fragrances. This one is more on the sweet floral side rather than sweet um, food kind of scent. So this is more um, a floral, light scent. But at the same time, very classy, very elegant. And the bottle is everything. I hope you can see that. Very pretty. Um, this is a 40 mil, so that's a 1.3 fluid ounce. Um, it was on sale, that's why I bought it, but I'm glad I purchased this. I would actually buy a big bottle of this. Really good, 
lasts very long and smells great and that was the last one all right thank you guys for watching this video and that's my small perfume collection i hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for my perfumes empties video thank you for watching and guys please subscribe share like comment and as usual i love you for watching